Just give it a second here to make sure we have a decent signal, which we may not. Let's see, give me give it a second. And again, Shalom, Yah Bashim Yash. This is um you know, Yasharala rather. This is your brother Ari from uh, GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulership Ba back at uh GMS 13 Rulership 3. I'm all over the place. GMS 13 Rulership 3. And know, uh, back at you again with another lesson, another live lesson through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. And Lord willing, this is Edifying out to the elect. And before we start, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Also, double honors onto the apostles and the elders of GMS, great millstone who've been ruling and teaching well. And salutations to Yahakim out there in the four corners of the globe that push the word out in truth and sincerity, you know, without wavering and in sound doctrine. And, uh, and, you know, we're watching, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, happening, especially today, you know. Um, you had the, the, the blood lunar eclipse going on and in the midst of that you had uh evelyn de roughchild uh uh passed on to the spirit realm which is a a major major man of the elite now whether he really died or whether it's it's you know some sort of uh, uh ruse from esau we don't really know but that's the that's the word that that's out there you know that's what they're saying you know we say call law y'all for that that's a major major thing and that's not something to take lightly and for it to happen on a on a sabbath or right, the shabbat um um and, and also you have the the lunar blood moon uh, uh eclipse going on today so these major signs in the heavens these are the things that we look for these are the things that the lord told us to look out for um knowing that we're getting we're about to enter into uh, uh the, the next phase the kingdom of heaven so these are big things happening and on top of that, you know, you have you. We're, we're watching Jake. You know, the so-called Black, Hispanic, Native Americans, specifically the so-called Black man right now is being tried and raised up. Okay, you know he he, you know a, a lot of a lot of um, Hollywood Jake are speaking out against this man. All right, is this the man? He's speaking he's speaking out against this man. You know, using a his platform, you know, you know, whether it be the YouTubes or whether it be Rumble or whatever, you know, he's speaking out against them. All right, and he's bringing, you know, Jake, you know, the so-called black man, he's bringing a lot of things to light. You know, you might have did a movie back in the '90s, and you know, Esau trying to get you to wear the dress, or 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 you know, whatever the case may be, trying to get a little dirt on you and and try to have you compromise your integrity to your beliefs. All right, in Esau is that something that he he does he's been doing like you know and, and you know we start seeing these things, um, you know happen, okay, we start seeing these things come to light. Uh, they're not just conspiracy theories, you know the theories. They're, these are these are things that are are being reported by those that are on the inside. <laughs> yeah, Khan, to keep them alive, right? Um, uh, Esau going down to Haiti. Uh, um, after that earthquake, after the earthquake, um, many years ago, going down there, uh, harvest, harvesting organs, these things are brought to light. Okay. And we all know that the internet was probably the worst thing that you could have allowed the public to get their hands on because all that, all that bullshit you're doing, all that shit you're doing is starting to come to light. Here it is. It's 2022 and, uh, and, and everybody got your number. Okay. And a lot of people are speaking out against it. We're heading, we're we're in a very prophetic time right now. And this is the time to really be excited. It's watching a brother Kazak, elder brother Kazak from Mississippi, and the brother's saying the same thing. This is the time to be excited. This is the time to rejoice because the Lord is really turning it up right now through the spirit. You know? This is um the book of Genesis. Let's we'll start there. Book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse uh verse uh nine. Let's get to the point. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp. From 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 the prey, my son, thou art going up. He stooped down, he crossed as a lion, and as an old lion, you know, cause what? You know, you that fire was going out of Jake for a very long time. Okay? Basically neutered out here. But now what's happening? We're starting to see you so-called black men, and of course the Hispanic Native American men speak up. Okay, He's starting to stand up on their feet. And informing the public about what the truth really is and from what from what they've seen. Okay. And speaking on it, it says, uh, he stooped down and crouched as a lion and as an old lion, 
who shall rise them up? And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is rising up the nation of Israel. He's rising up Judah, Benjamin, and Levi to speak out against this devil. Okay, we see the things happening with Yeh. We see the things happening with, with Kai. Okay, and we see the things that are happening um, right before our eyes. And you know, brothers ourselves, we can speak about it our, ourselves. In our day-to-day -day lives, we starting to see Jake in our day-to-day -day lives starting to ask more questions. Okay, um, going on these videos, not just our videos, but vi videos exposing Esau Edom for their for their for their BS. You're gonna see Jake on there talking about uh, you know Israel, talking talking about Judah, talking about talking about Esau, calling them Edomites. All right, and this is just gonna continue to to snowball until a point where Esau Edom, who runs the media who runs these these internet platforms he's gonna have to do something he, he's gonna be forced to make a move and by him making that move that's what the lord basically backing him into a corner because when you make that move you make a move against the prophets the lord's gonna make his move you gotta remember this is a chess game to the heavenly father you know we are the pieces okay and but the lord is the one playing both sides of the, of the board and we're gonna ultimately be on the winning side although it may seem like we're losing right now Pursuant to the book of uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Let me see if I can get this real quick. Forgive me if I seem like I'm rushing. I got to uh, head out here soon. But this must all be said. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. And uh, you know we bring this out every now and then. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. Uh, we'll start at verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of, the, of, of, of Yahweh. And there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die. And their departure is taken for misery. So people look at us right now like we're losing. All right. But it says this. And they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. And why are we in peace? Because we have the understanding of what's about to happen. We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's why we continue to push with so much fervor. All right. And even and much more now than ever before. Because we know what the Lord's ultimately going to do for us if we can make it to the end. It also says uh, verse 4. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. So ultimately, we're going to be rewarded. So sitting here looking about what, you know, worrying about what it may look like to the average person, hey, it don't really matter what it looks like because we understand that we're going to ultimately win this game. The Lord already has it all rigged. Esau being in power. You know, yeah, he has control over everything, over the media and all that stuff, and over our channels and things like that. He can shut them down, just like he shut down Elder Manoxus Akbar's channel. That man's been catching a little hell lately. Okay, but you know what? That brother's rejoicing. You listen to his latest vid video on his on his current channel. That 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 elder brother, he's rejoicing, as we should too, because this is a very beautiful day. Although all the things we see, the spooky things that are ha happening on the earth right now, hey, it's all good. The Lord got our backs, but the Lord ain't dealing with the rest of them. It may seem like he's dealing with them. Pursuant to the book of what is it, Psalm? Um, Psalm 73, right? Salt of the Spirit. Psalm 73, verse uh, 3. For I was envious at the foolish, for when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they played like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. That's why we look at them like that's what how they, these so-called white men. That's how he moves in this world. It don't seem like any trouble is really coming upon them. This man moves around in violence. Okay, that's his blessing ultimately. It says their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouths against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither. And waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. Right, okay? So this man, he speaks lawfully against the Heavenly Father and against his, the, the, the people of the Lord. Put himself in a place of the people of the Lord. This man doesn't seem to be catching any help. Although we're starting to see it change a little bit. But ultimately, you look at it from, you know, from a outside looking in. It looks like Esau's winning. All right, but we understand that's not going to be the case. Esau, um, verse 11, it says, And they say, How doth the Most High know? Is there a knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, 
they increase in riches. So we understand that those that are prospering in this world ultimately, ultimately are not the, the children of the Lord. These are the children of the wicked. They're ungodly. And the Lord is not going to let allow them to win. The Lord's going to take them out in a very violent, bloody manner. And we're here to witness it. Okay, we're, we're here to prophesy and then witness it. Okay, and if the law has it so, we may, you know, you know, pursuant to certain books in the scriptures, like like uh, Ezekiel the twenty fifth chapter, like the fourteenth verse, the Lord may use some of, some of the Israelites, uh, 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 you know, as that as that weapon of war. Uh, Jeremiah uh, uh, fifty one, verse twenty on down. Okay, it's a beautiful thing that's about to happen here. But these are these people. They seem to prosper in the world, but the Lord ain't really dealing with them like that. This is all basically to, to prove your faith. Whose side are you on? You're gonna look. You're gonna be envying them, or are you gonna stay humble and and and, and do the will of the Lord, no matter what it may look like to the other people out there in the world? It may seem, although again, it says that we may seem to die by the side of the unwise. But ultimately, we're full of peace. We understand what we're about to obtain. That's why we're just so. It is what it is. You know, we we'll, we get it. We understand why we're going through this help. So all right. So back in Jeremiah forty nine and nine, at the end it says, "Who shall rise them up?" So the Lord is going to rouse up you so -co you so called black men, you so called Hispanics and Native Americans. That's why you see Judah, you know Benjamin and Levi, the Southern Kingdom, really rise rising up right now through the Spirit. And as time is going to progress through, you're going to see more and more of them speak out against Esau, Edom, and and their folly and their wickedness. This is a good thing we're witnessing, brothers. You know it's all right. We, you know we're witnessing it, and the Lord, this is this this is our gift. Of, you know, um, basically to build our faith up. Let me get something real quick. Um, because you know ultimately a lot of pain is coming. This is uh the, this is Psalm one ten. I start at verse one. It says the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou in the right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Right. It says the Lord said said unto my Lord so. So uh, the Heavenly Father said, because this is King David speaking, all right? And we understand this talking about Yahweh Shai, but ultimately uh, this is uh, the son of David, which is uh, uh, Solomon. And we all know, it, you know, it goes into reincarnation. We're not going to get into all that right now. But saying, sit thou at my right hand. We understand Yahweh Shai sits at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Uh, where was I? Until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So the Lord's ultimately going to bring our enemies, starting with the so-called white man, our footstool starting with Yahweh Shai, okay, the head of Israel. It says, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of the of thy youth. Right. So uh, thy people, the people are gonna be willing in the day of, of our power. When they see so-called blessed Spanish Native Americans lifted up in power, okay, you know, with spiritual power, grown in height and in strength and in stature, and with all types of superhero, superhuman powers, they're gonna be down. They're gonna be with it because they don't want to get their head blown off by, a, you know, by a, <laughs> you know I'm saying by a Kamehameha. They don't want that. So they're all gonna get in line. Everybody's gonna get in order. Okay, the people are gonna be willing that day, and the Lord's gonna give power unto the meek, the humble, the earth, which is. You know, the elected Israel first and foremost The ones that are doing this work Starting with our apostles Those that have died Those that have died doing the work of the Lord They're going to be risen back up And they're going to be given power And immortality That's what we're fighting for That's, you know, as we read in the book of Wisdom of Solomon Our hope is in immortality And dig down here on this earth So we see our people starting to rise up And Lord's going to have mercy on some of these people Lord's will Okay, we don't know who or what, where, but we, we understand that the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. We we, get, we know that. We, we, we know the scriptures. Okay? So it's all a good thing. And all this death and destruction that we say, it's it's going to come. Okay? Esau's going to try to uh, drop the hammer on us. As it says in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, he's going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. Okay? But the Lord's not gonna, he's going to lift up that standard. This is the book of Isaiah 59. Was it 19? Yep. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai from the west, and from the glory from the rising of the sun. So from the from the east to the west, they're gonna fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, 
And we understand that the enemy, Esau Edom, will indeed come in like a flood with his with his troops, okay? And he's gonna ring terror on you on you niggas. All right, you Jake that don't want to repent, okay? The time of Jacob's trouble is right at, right is it's right at hand. It's, we're at the door of it. But we understand the elect is gonna is gonna ultimately be covered during those days. It's gonna be tough times, but we're gonna be covered. And those times are right around the corner. It can happen literally any day now in a couple of weeks. Who knows? We don't know. We're here to warn you about it. We're gonna be covered in it. All right, but that enemy is gonna come in like a flood, it says here. It says the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. That standard is gonna be the elected Israel through spiritual powers. Yahweh shall coming back ultimately too. So they're not going to prevail over the elected Israel. They're going to lose terribly. It's going to be a horrible one-sided war. If you even want to call it a war or a fight. It's going to be a massacre, a slaughter. Okay? So that's why there's really nothing to worry about. We just have to continue on in the path that the Lord has put us on. And we will win. That's a given. There's nothing to worry about there. The Lord is rising up the nation. Okay? We, us as the prophets, we are the head of the nation that are still in the flesh. That are still alive. We're at the head of the nation, but there are going to be others that are going to be risen up. Okay? And they're going to speak out against the wickedness. Maybe the Lord will have mercy on them. We don't know. It's not up to us. We, we you know, we worry about the righteous. We're not concerned about how the wicked is going to perish. Uh, we're only concerned about how the righteous is going to be saved. We'll end it here. This is the book of Micah, chapter 7. Shut your mouth. This is the book of Micah, chapter uh, 5, rather. Uh, verse 7 it says and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as the dew from the Lord as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for men nor waited for the sons of man so Jake is ultimately gonna be on them like like dew on the grass it's gonna cover gonna cover them up I'm gonna keep reading it says and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion amongst among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep right so you, you you leave a, a, a young lion, you know, a very hyper and hyperactive young lion amongst, amongst a bunch of sheep. What do you think is going to happen? Who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver. That's right. You're going to see nothing but wool, white and red, red covered wool everywhere because it's going to be ripped apart. It's going to be on the cotton all over the place. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. It's gonna, the lion is going to completely massacre all right, that sheep. Okay. And that's how Jake is going to be amongst the enemies of Israel. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, say of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. I will cut, I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds. So we understand Esau's strongholds are going to be completely taken down. He's going to build up, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is ultimately going to throw it all down. And I will cut off witchcraft out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. That's right. That's how this place is ran. These people will get nothing but uh, witches and warlocks and soothsayers out here uh, uh, um, uh, uh, running these nations, man. All that's going to be taken out of power. This is the uh, this is the mistress of witchcrafts. All right. The mother of whores, uh, harlots. It says, um, where was I? Thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. All that's going to be done away with. All right, all that idol worship and all that. No more of that. All that's going to be destroyed and abolished. It says, uh, it says, and I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So, so will I destroy thy cities, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. It's going to be. It's going to be beyond our understanding It's never happened to this extent We understand the story of the Egyptians But what's about to happen here in the last days Alright It's pursuant to the book of Jeremiah The 16th chapter starting at the 14th verse when It's going to be the second exodus The second uh, uh, um, salvation all right, Of the Israelites out of Egypt This is Egypt It's going to be beyond that So with that I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory To Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rechach, Shalom to the elect and Eduardo for the script.